The autonomy of local governments has been a subject of debate for many years. And as the National Assembly commences another round of constitution amendments, the House is holding a national discourse on Nigeria's security challenges and good governance at the local government level. This is to further buttress the importance of the local government, which is the closest to the people. I call on all governors to put Nigeria first and collectively support the president in the quest to grant full autonomy to local government. We must definitely resolve the controversy surrounding the status of local governments by providing the framework needed to ensure their optimal operation. Whether corruption exists in the national level, in the federal level, or in the state level, we identify it as true. So what negates the local governments from also having the same issues? We need also to understand the institutions that are stakeholders in the governance of local government, like the security situation, the DPO, the SSS, the traditional institution. The traditional institution has broken down. People are behaving anyhow. The Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice wants the control of the local government out of the hands of state governors. Many experts have proposed that there is need for scrapping the state independent electoral commission. Their functions and powers should be transferred to the independent national electoral commission because the state independent electoral commission remains an appendage of the incumbent governor and it behaves as such. I have not seen any state where local government election is conducted, however poorly the governor or the government may have performed, that will not return the members of the political party as the winner of the election. President Bola Tinubu is represented by the Minister of Defense. He decries the degrading state of the local governments. Local governments are the frontline defenders against insecurity as they are closest to the people and possess intimate knowledge of their community's need and challenges. This is why some have advocated for community policing as a finesse to our internal security challenges. It is in light of their foregoing that our administration is committed to implementing measures aimed at bolstering the local government system, recognizing that sustainable development, national security and prosperity can only be achieved when every level of government functions effectively and accountably. The House of Representatives believes that by holding this discourse, it would carry stakeholders along, especially the state assemblies, to avoid another rejection of the Constitution Amendment Bill at the state level. Terry Ikumi, Channels Television News.